The next stage in portrait painting is a three-quarter view of our model, which you can also see on this video. I will be following this reference material to do a portrait painting, which can be done in oil or acrylic. I still need guidelines. These help me to put the features into position and round out the perspective of this portrait reference. I use a soft Conte stick or chalk to sketch out my subject matter. Put the smile on uh, my subject matter. This allows for a little bit more space between the nose and the chin. Once I'm happy with the positioning of the features and the angle of the head, then the next step is to lift out the guidelines that should have been drawn either in chalk or Conte. The reason being is that these are easy to get rid of with a soft cloth and also tells me where the positioning is and if it's acceptable enough for me to go to the next step of blocking in color. You can now see how the colors are being blocked in. For this I use a large brush and I do not concentrate on just one area because later on I will refine these blocks of color and I work throughout the whole painting the face, the garments, the background to create a balance of color which is very important so that these colors are not isolated only in one area. Some unexpected colors that you do not necessarily see in the face or in the garment or in the background are added and the reason being that this will eventually pull the colors together and create harmony. The next step is to start to very, very loosely refine some of the areas with a medium-sized brush. And again, I work throughout the whole painting, not just one area. And it's a little bit of a discovery. But I also like is that I do layer colors. And what that creates is a luminosity that is not possible if it's just done in one color only. Blending colors is an option, but not necessarily important.
It depends on the kind of style of painting that you prefer. Midway through this demonstration, I did blend the paints, the colors, while they were still damp, with a rag. You can also use a soft brush to blend colors, but they need to be damp, not smushy, wet, or dry, because then it won't work. But this is midway through the demonstration of the painting, and I will then go into the painting again and do more refining so that some of the brushwork will eventually stay. Although I generally do not use black, I prefer paints gray or mixing uh, colors that eventually give me a black rather than out of the tube. Here you can see that I've added a dark color which simulates black and that is again in only some areas to give it more depth. I also now use some red into the hair. Although you cannot see this in the photograph, I use this to harmonize the color in the hair with the jacket that the model is wearing.